Good morning, everybody. My name is Reverend Kim Burke, and assisting me for worship time today is Byron Herman, our music director, Janet McLean, who is our scripture reader, and uh, Jack and Nellie and Bruce, who are Zoom and PowerPoint operators for uh, this Sunday. I would like to welcome you all to worship this morning as you join us here in our beautiful sanctuary or in the comfort of your home via Facebook or Zoom. Thank you for coming and worshiping with us today. If you weren't here last week, I'd like for you to take a look around our sanctuary and see how amazing the visual arts team has created our gratitude series. We have it everywhere. It is absolutely beautiful, all of the hard work that they've done. And each Sunday, as you know, we started our gratitude series last week. And each Sunday, we're going to take a letter. Last week, we took the letter G is for God. And today, we are going to be looking at the letter R is for reason. May your spirit continue to move around us and through us as we come together as a community, as we enter this sacred space together, building a relationship with our creator, strengthening our faith with Jesus, and feeling the power of the Holy Spirit today. And as we gather ourselves for worship and before we light our Christ candles and our pride candle, I invite you to close your eyes. to listen to God's music all around us. Take a few intentional deep breaths. Slowing your mind down. Opening your heart to what God's spirit has to say to you today. Centering yourself in this place. Let us now light our Christ candle. The Christ candle advances with the presence of the Spirit, reminding us of the warmth of this beautiful faith community in which God calls us together and to gather, and the light that shines with wisdom, insight, clarity in our worship, so we can find gratitude in all we do. We light the pride candle. As a celebration of the wonderful diversity when God creates us and calls us good. In this community of faith, we celebrate that all are welcome in this place. We, as the congregation of Stairs for Morally United Church, recognize that people have lived on this land for thousands of years for Morally United This really? land in which we recognize this land, land and the name of this people. land. For thousands of worship the creator on this land, and I got the transitional land, and I got the land for thousands of worship and the creator on this land, and I got the transitional land, and I got the transitional land, and I got the transitional land, and I got the our centering song is a grateful from more voices number 182 
grateful for the life you give. Our centering song is Ed grateful Ray. from more voices of number 182. Grateful for the life you give. Our centering song is Ed grateful Ray. from more voices of number 182. Grateful for the life you give. Our centering song is Ed grateful Ray. from more voices of number 182. Grateful for the life you give. Our centering song is Ed grateful Ray. for the life you give us. Grateful for the life you give us. Grateful for the life you give us. Grateful for Response, right? Because we are grateful. God is in you. Enthusiasm, we are going to say, right? In response, right? Because we are grateful. To feel God's presence in a personal way. Say, right? In response, right? Because we are grateful. To feel God's presence in a We are ready to learn. We have hearts to read. We are grateful. To feel God's presence in We are ready to learn. We have hearts to read. We are grateful. Continuing with our opening prayer. Holy Spirit, be with us today. Wrap us in your love. Help us to feel your prayer. Holy Spirit, be with us today. Wrap us in your Like the sun that does its work happily every day. Help us to do your work. Remind us of the blessings surrounding us so that we may be a blessing to others. Help us to do your work. Remind us of the blessings surrounding us so that when the shadows of darkness drift into our minds, be the breeze that pushes them away. Allow smiles and gratitude to shine from us, for we know that the breeze that pushes them away. Allow smiles and gratitude to shine from us, for we know that the hymn this morning is come. Children, join to sing. Voice united, three, four, five. Please stand. The hymn this morning is come. Children, join to sing. Voice united, three, four, five. Please stand. The hymn this morning is come. Children, join to sing. Voice united, three, four, five. Please stand. The hymn this morning is come. Children, join to sing. Voice united, three, four, five. Please stand. The hymn this morning is come. Children, join to sing. Voice united, three, four, five. Please stand. The hymn this morning is come. Children, join to sing. Voice united, three, four, five. Please <laughs> Oh, 
Please be seated. Before I invite us to share in our community celebrations, I'm going to ask somebody to grab the handheld mic seated. and make sure that it's on because I think Before last week I invite us to share at our... home what people were saying they were celebrating. So ensure that it is on for sure. Oh, yes. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's okay. Some people, still not on? No, I can't hear. I can hardly hear you, and I'm right next to you. <laughs> okay, you got me out. All right, I can talk last. <laughs> uh, some of you know that uh, the last part of June and the first of July, I was involved with the Royal Nova Scotia International Tattoo. It was an opportunity for me to join the six other countries learn about them again. Some of them are repeats back to us, the Germans, the Switzerland, um, but we had Korea this year for the first time, and the people from the other countries were so obliging. They wanted to know about us, and we wanted to know about them. So for an opportunity for 10 days to share music, stories, and community with six other countries was absolutely awesome, and I'm looking forward to another year of it. Thank you. Great job. Anybody else? Any other celebrations? Any other celebrations? I think that's it then, I guess. Slow week. Please join me in prayer for the prayer of illumination. Give us, O oh God, the will to receive with gratitude the stories of scripture, well worn, well learned, but always full of new and rich meaning. Give us not only senses to receive the story, but hearts to understand. Amen. The reading from an ancient word is 1 Chronicles 16, verses 8 to 36 from the New International Version. Give praise to the Lord. Proclaim his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him. Sing praise to him. Tell of all his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles, and the judgments he has pronounced. You, his servants, the descendants of Israel, his chosen ones, the children of Jacob. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He remembers his covenant forever, the promise he made for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac. He confirmed it to Jacob as a decree, to Israel as an everlasting covenant. To you, I will give the land of Canaan as the portion you will inherit. When they were but few in number, Few indeed, and strangers in it. They wandered from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another. He allowed no one to oppress them. For their sake, he rebuked kings. Do not touch my anointed ones. Do my prophets no harm. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and joy 
are in his dwelling place. Ascribe to the Lord, all you families of nations, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Let the trees of the forest sing. Let them sing for joy before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Cry out, save us, God, our Savior. Gather us and deliver us from the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Then all the people said, Amen, and praise the Lord. I suspect she's coming back. <laughs> well, I mean, I feel uncomfortable wrong with that. That's one. I don't even think that's a word. Wait a minute. All righty. Great for photocopiers. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is going on there? I'm going to look down. All righty. Right sermon, right time. This is perfect. I'm going to take a little... We talked about the warmth of God being here. Well, we were thinking of it metaphorically, not literally, really, right? right. The following reflection was inspired by Todd Belair's work entitled, David Was Thankful. Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts be pleasing in your sight, O oh God, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Last week began our summer gratitude series, and we started with the letter G for God, as I said. And today, we are looking at R for reason. And when you go to visit a doctor or now a pharmacist, the first thing they usually ask you is, so what brings you in to see me today, right? I want to ask you guys the same question. What brings you to church today? Why are you here this morning? The ultimate reason why we come to church should be obviously to worship God. But if you really don't know why you come to church, that's okay too. Maybe it's a time of discernment. Maybe you have a calling on your heart to be here. Maybe it's the fellowship of community and friends. Only you know the reason why you came here. And that reminds me of the hymn we're going to sing next Sunday. Come in, come in and sit down, right? You know the reason why you came, right? Raise of hands. How many remember Dennis the Menace cartoons? Can anybody remember those Dennis the Menace cartoons? I can remember reading them in the newspapers growing up and, of course, getting the comic books later on. And Dennis, well, for those who have never read a Dennis the Menace cartoon, he was a little boy, and he was, he was a character. And what I mean by a character, he was always in trouble. And he was always saying, you know, things that 
were, I don't want to say inappropriate, but he always had a little remark to make about everything, right? And he was a pest to his next door neighbor, completely, right? But even he was a pest to everybody, really, you know, he used to get on everybody's nerves. He was always up to something. So one time in leaving church, they're at the door, Dennis and his family, and they're at the door shaking a hand with the minister. And Dennis says to the minister, he says, thanks, a reverend. That's not a bad show for a nickel. Right? Not a bad show for a nickel. So he had put a nickel in the collection plate. There are a number of reasons why we come here to worship. And maybe because we just love God and we want to please God. Maybe we are broken hearted today and know that with a close walk with God, joy comes in the morning. May we need wisdom. We have come for prayer and the closeness that comes with worship. Maybe we have a lot to be thankful for. We want to worship while telling God how grateful we are for God's protection. God's provision, mercy and grace, power and love, forgiveness, the gift of eternal life, or just God's presence. I mean, all of those are great reasons to worship. When we see who we really are in the light of who God really is, then we can't help but be thankful. We can't help but want to worship God. We can't help but be thankful for the presence of God in our lives and in this congregation and our church. So speaking of God's presence, do you feel it here? Do you feel it? I do. Every time I step into this building, every time I step into this church, I feel God's presence all around me. Now, I've never felt God physically, but I had felt God's touch in the hand of someone showing me care, showing me compassion, giving me a shoulder to cry on. I've never seen God with my own eyes, but I've seen God in others when they help him to reach those who need help. Offer a listening ear when someone needs to talk. Provide a helping hand when someone is in distress. I have, I believe, heard the voice of God speaking to my heart over the years. Several times, actually, my calls to ministry, my call to speak out against human trafficking, my call to delve deeper into my indigenous heritage, my call to apply to this church. This presence of God is very real to me. God is present here on Tuesdays when all the volunteers are preparing for Wednesday's food bank clients. God is present here on Wednesday morning when all the food bank clients are here and we see people trying their very best to provide resources for them and not only help them with food, but with care and love. God is present here on Wednesday evenings when Byron and the choir are preparing to praise God's name for worship through their gift, their beautiful gift of music and voice. God is here on the days that Ryan is here preparing the bulletin, doing all our admin, working on the numerous numbers of things that it takes to run a church office. God is present here on Sundays when everyone is getting everything ready from worship, from war music, to the Zoom, to the Facebook, to the mics, to the coffee time after, to the readers. God is here when the visual arts team are putting everything together for us. Hours and hours of time. God is present. God is here. But that's not a surprise because it says, when two or more are gathered in my name, I am there also. 
But even on those days when I'm sitting in that office by myself, when it's just me and the hum of that fire alarm beep, serenading me all day long, when it's just me, I still feel a holiness about this place. A feeling that this place is special, that this feeling that this place is set apart. And when we know and when we feel that God is present, that should make us very thankful. And thankfulness should impact us. It should impact us in all kinds of ways. For David in the Old Testament, in the First Chronicles chapter 16, David is thankful and David is rejoicing in the fact that God is with him and the nation of Israel in a very real way. When Janet read our reading today, it seemed very familiar to Psalm 136 from last week. There was a lot of gratitude there. We can clearly see David's thankfulness to God for God's presence, and that is reflected in David's worship. David was thankful for all what God did to protect and provide, to show mercy and justice, and to bring peace. And Jesus showed, Jesus, David showed his thankfulness by rejoicing. And they're rejoicing because they have the Ark of the Covenant back now. They have reclaimed that. So this is a big part of their worship and where it's supposed to be. So it's funny, I saw Indiana Jones on Thursday night, you know, so when I'm writing this and I'm reading about the Ark of the Covenant, I can't help but think of Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark, right? The very first one. And now I'm watching Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, you know? And I'm thinking to myself, Raiders of the Lost Ark, that's all I kept thinking when I was putting this sermon together, you know? So the Ark is now back. And they are worshiping it, and they are thankful for it, and they're thankful for God. And David says, sing to him, sing praise to him, and tell all of his wonderful acts. And David's heart is a thankful one. It is full of gratitude. And he knows the reason why he is worshiping and praising God. And this excites David. God's blessings, God's wonderful acts have an impact on David in all kinds of ways. It impacted his offerings, it impacted his prayer, it impacted his music. But the most important way is that it has impacted his relationship with God. And God's wonderful acts should do the same for us today. They should impact us. God should impact our lives in our offerings, in our prayer, in our music, in our relationship. And if we're not impacted, what is the reason why? Why are we not impacted? What part of our lives are we not letting God have? God knows. We know. Maybe it's time to stop keeping God out and letting God in. Maybe we need to come to God with thankfulness. Now, these are not the days of antiquities where, you know, your thankfulness would be shown in, you know, burnt offerings or sacrifices. But I'm going to ask you to do something now that's probably a little bit out of your comfort zone, but that's okay. It's okay to take a chance. It's okay to be risky. I would like for you to get up if you're able. And for you folks at home, you can participate too. Don't feel like you're going to be left out. You guys can too. I want you to get up and tell someone why you are thankful they are here today. I want you to hopefully hit everybody. And for folks home, you can either tell somebody that's in your house or you can pick up the phone and call somebody. But let's make sure everybody gets told. And if you don't even know what to say to them, just say, you know what? I'm thankful you're here today to be worshiping with us.
Okay, let's go for it. I'll bring you back. It's just the day of things not working, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll figure it out. All righty. I'd like to thank Nellie and Jack and uh, Bruce today for all of their work over the years with the Zoom and the PowerPoint and Facebook. Thank you so much. It's too hot to climb those stairs, guys. That's why I didn't get up there. Like We're already sticking on here. Jack, Jack said, I think it's a little hot here. I said, the humidity. I said, yeah. And I said, I can tell my hair is starting to get fritzy. <laughs> Now that we're back and we thank everybody, now it's time to be like David and praise God. So right now we're going to give thanks to God. And the difference in this giving thanks to God is that in giving thanks to God, we were, before, you know, we have thanking God for what God has done, right? But we're going to thank God for who God is and how God is working. So let's do that all right now. Let's ask God to meet our needs, but also thank God for what God has done and who for who God is. Jesus said, my house will be a house of prayer. 
and how appropriate is it for us to offer our thanksgiving to praise and God in this prayer today in our church and as a church. Let us pray. Gracious God, how we rejoice in you, for you are good and your grace and mercy endure forever. We give thanks to you and glory in your holy name, for your glory reaches to the heavens. Lord, our hearts are filled with great gladness and joy when we rejoice over you. Thank you for guiding Jesus to answer yes to you and give us the gift of eternal life. Thank you that Jesus is with us every moment of the day and we are never alone. Thank you for the work you do in our church and in our lives. We worship and pray your holy name like David worshiped and praised your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We have a lot of reasons for why we do things in our lives, right? And we know those reasons. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. We have reasons why we don't do things as well. But maybe today is a good place to start looking at the why you have God and we have God in our lives. Amen. Our next hymn is a praise to the Lord, the Almighty Voices United 220, and it's also on our PowerPoint. Our next Please hymn is a praise to Amen. the Lord, the Almighty Voices United 220, and it's also on our PowerPoint. Our next Please hymn is a praise to the Lord, the Almighty Voices United 220, and it's also on our PowerPoint. Our next Please hymn is a praise to the Lord, the Almighty Voices United 220, and it's also on our PowerPoint. Our next hymn is a praise Great Oh, that's my God's grace to go to the 
Life is indeed worth living because he lives. That is true. Thank you for that, John. That was beautiful. Loving God, we come before you. Oh, no, wrong story. Moving along. I've moved right over. And because we have Jesus in our lives and because we are never alone, we're going to do now our new creed, which we're going to now say together. We are not alone. We live in God's world. We believe in God who has created and is. We are not alone. Because come, we live in God's world. word made flesh. We believe in God. Reconciled and made. created and is. Who works are not us. Plus not plus we live spirit. in God's we word made flesh. We believe in God. God. Reconciled and called to be the church. Who works are not us. Celebrate God's we presence. In God's to live word with respect in creation. The love and be the church. Who works are not us. Celebrate God's presence. Live with respect in creation. Crucify and be the church. Our job. And our hope in life, in, life, in death, in life beyond death. God is alive and we are not judged. And our hope in life, in death, in life beyond death. We offer ourselves and our gifts to God. Everything we have is a giving from God. We give in response to God's generosity. We offer ourselves as a sign of our commitment to serve Christ with our whole lives. Gifts given this day and every day are commitment to serve Christ with our whole time, lives. our talent, our treasure, gifts given this others, day and every day are commitment for to serve Christ with our morning, our, morning time, offering our talent, our treasure, gifts given this day and every day are commitment to serve Christ with our morning, our talent, our treasure, gifts given this day and every day are commitment to serve Christ with our morning, our talent, our treasure, gifts given this day and every day are commitment to serve Christ with our morning time, our talent, abuse. our treasure, gifts given this day and every rest. day are commitment for your gifts. Yeah. Christ with our morning time, our talent, our treasure, gifts given this day and every day are commitment for your gifts. Christ with our morning time, our talent, our treasure, gifts given this day and every day are commitment for your gifts. Christ with our morning time, our talent, our treasure, gifts given this day and every day are commitment for your gifts. Christ with our morning time, our talent, our let us pray together. All that we have is from you, Creator God. Let us pray. Yes. We, we seek to be together. Like you. All that we have is from you, Creator God. Share with us pray. We seek to be like you. All that we have is from you, Creator God. Share with us pray. We seek to be like you. I just love saying that name. I was like, thank you, Marvelous. I love it. It's the best name. Loving God, we come before you today with so many prayers on our hearts of this day, so many we may not even know where to begin or how to come to you. We sit here in this stillness, in this silence, to seek out your spirit and your guiding presence in our lives. Come, Holy Spirit, be with us now as God continues to be present in our lives. Let us pray to God for our needs and the needs of others. Let us pray. 
Let us remember this morning those who suffer from illness, from the pain of memory, from torture, or from victimization. Let us pray for those who are outcasts or in prison or are oppressed. Let us pray for those who are hungry or displaced. Those who are unemployed or exploited. Let us pray for the coming of justice in the world, offering what we have and receiving what we need of the earth's beauty. Let us pray for peace that is a just reconciliation. Let us pray for the earth on which we walk and to which we will one day return. And let us offer our own prayers, trusting in God's wisdom and compassion. We think of the Jameson family as they celebrated the life of a loved one, Gary, yesterday. We think of the Colsar family as Susan and her family celebrated the life of her mother last week in Newfoundland. We are ever grateful for your gift of memory and of eternal life. And because he lives. Holy God, you are the one we adore. We sing our praises to you and thank you for your love. We come to you for help because we know you can deliver us. No matter the problem, no matter the time, you are the one who has the power to overcome. Be with us and strengthen us. We pray today in the strong name of Jesus and bless us up, lift us up, hold us up. For we are your children called to your purpose in the world. Hear our prayers that are spoken this day and those that are hidden deep within our hearts. Lifting our voices with all creation, let us offer ourselves and one another to the living God through Christ, who taught his disciples and us to pray, because you are our mother and our father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we, we forgive those who trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our announcements today, Coffee and Conversation, are here at the sanctuary after all are welcome to stay. Pride Sunday is July 23rd, and Ryan has created an amazing poster advertising this service and barbecue, so all are welcome. We have a wish list for anybody who would like to donate. We need like wieners, hot dog buns, condiments, bottled water, pop if you can, juice box, napkins, cups, or if you don't want to donate, but you would like to just give us money to go purchase those items, that's also great as well. We have a great day planned, and if you can help out with cupcakes, the cupcakes would be needed for the service, not for the barbecue. So if anybody can make cupcakes for that day, that would be great. And if you can help out with anything at all, that would be great. And if you want to email uh, Ryan or me and let me know what you're, if you're planning on donating anything, um, that way then we can keep track of what we need to go out and purchase and stuff like that. We'll have some idea. Our July bulletins have been completed and copies are available for worship. And if you can remember at all to leave the copies at the back of the church for next week's service, because the, these are the bulletins that we use each and every week. Uh, we would greatly appreciate it if you could do that. Are there any other announcements? Just a, a reminder of uh, that we have a hymn sing coming up at, in the near the end of August, and you should have a piece of paper where you can request a hymn if you'd like to have it sung at that service. Okay. You can just uh, drop that off at the office or give it to me, or uh, those at home who would like a special hymn, just uh, feel free to email me, and then we'll get that program for our hymn sing in August. Perfect. Yes, that's right. Any other announcements? Our closing hymn is, You Servants of God, A Voice is United, Three, four, two. Please stand as you are able. You servants of God, a voice is united. 
three, four, two. Please stand as you are able. The servants of God, a voice is united. Three, four, two. Please stand as you are able. The servants of God, a voice is united. Three, four, two. Please stand as you are able. The servants of God, a voice is united. Three, four, two. Please stand as you are able. The servants of God, a voice is united. Three, four, two. Please stand as you are able. The servants of God, a voice is united. Three, four, two. Please stand as you are able. Holy Spirit, open your my heart to understand how precious I am to you, how loved I am by you. Open the eyes of my soul to see the gifts you have put before me this day. Give me the grace to recognize each encounter with you. Teach me to respond in gratitude, to grow in gratitude. Teach me to be generous as you are generous with me and to collaborate with you in serving my sister and my brother for your greater glory. Our worship has ended. Our service continues in this world. May the God of blessings be upon you.